I'm going to be showing you how to install a gauge cluster on your 2004 Honda Accord. So, first thing you want to do is, I already did this, but lower this lever so that your steering wheel can go all the way down. See, all the way down, it's free right now. So that you can take off these two screws right here and here. You'll be able to see them if you inch down. There's two holes. I already started taking off this one out. Uh, right here. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight spot. So the smaller the Phillips screwdriver you got, the better. I'm actually going to try to look for a smaller one so that this can go by a lot smoother. So I got a shorter Phillips screwdriver, it's pretty short, and I got one of the screws out, so if you don't want to lose them, put them in your little holder, right there, we're just going to take the last one out, it's hard to do this holding camera, like anything, but, well, it's not coming off, but uh, you should be fine. Now you just want to kind of grip sides right here clip it down it's just a bunch of clips you'll hear little pops and stuff okay almost got gotcha. you bottom now once you work around the top both screws are out right now you work around the sides you do not want to jam a flathead screwdriver in here because you run the risk of scratching your interior. You can do it with your fingertips once this top is done. You can keep going around, around, creep around, and just kind of pull. You'll hear some pops and clicks, but those are just the little, little pressure holding it in with the clips that it has right around here, so you'll be fine. Next, what you want to do is one Phillips who's Phillips head screwdrivers near where the other two were. This is where the plastic was being held at. There's one at the top and two that are more visible and gold at the bottom. And you just take those three out and this should pull free and it should be able to re replace your cluster. So once you have taken off all three screws, you will start to pry from the top and it will just pull right away, pull free. And what you wanna do is kinda creep around the back and there should be a green connector near the top back part of it. You want to take that off. I'm going to try to do this while I'm trying to show you. The best way should be on this side where the stereo is. You kind of just reach behind there. You can kind of feel the wire. And that should lead you to the top. Where this... You can't see it very well, but you can see the wire. Well, me holding the wire. Hold on. Okay. A little bit more light. There's the green wire. It's the top middle. I'll show you on this cluster where around there it is. Top middle of the cluster, kind of behind where the screw is. You want to pull that up. And once you pull that up and free, this should let go. And that's the only thing else holding it in place. And once I take this off, I'll get back to you guys. Get the cluster out. You kind of have to creep around this way. The cable's still holding it in place, but this is the little clip connector. And it will be really tough to get out with one hand. So I'm going to unclip this. You push the button down and pull upwards. Push the button down, pull upwards. You will need both hands because it is not very light lightly held on there it's it's in there pretty good so you will need both hands or maybe just my left hands really weak whatever take this off and put that one on so once I take the cable off I will show you guys what the new one will look like and how it will sit cluster in with the new well used but new so does kind of get in the way. We're going to reconnect this outside over here before we shove it in there. Uh, again, I'm going to do with my hand. Let you guys roll. 
right here. You can't really see, but here's the cable. Hmm. Okay, so here's the cable. You're just pretty much going to reverse the process. Connect it. Once you hear a little click, I don't know if you heard the click. You will kind of shimmy it back in place, like so. It's almost back in there. You want to be careful to not scratch your interior. You know, try. But yeah, so there's the process. Put the cluster back inside. I don't even know how I got it out at this point. Okay, I'm gonna try to put this back. Those are the high beams. I'll try to so that it, this cluster is already working. What? Before I got interrupted, I got it back into place. Uh, you just tilt it forward, tilt it back. And it should go back right into place. There's these two little prongs that'll help line you up. I should probably clean this a little bit better. Anyway, there's this prong, this white prong, and this white prong and this black prong that will help guide you into it so that you can be in place. So, you see that black prong right there? Lines you up right there. The top should line up to that screw hole right here. And then you get your gold, gold screws, Try to put them in by hand first, like try to at least guide it in there because if you drop it, you drop it. And you have to spend the time taking apart this, this, so you can get your screw back. I know from experience that uh, you don't want to do that. Or what you can do is get a, get a magnet, rub it on your Phillips screwdriver. This one's already magnetic, it's got a magnetic tip. Rub it on your Phillips screwdriver so that it does not fall in because it is magnetic. So you want to just screw that back into place. Uh, before you start screwing things on, back on, you want to check that it works. This one works. This one didn't line up, light up or do anything, so this one's already working a little bit better. RPM's working, gas is working. Looks like... Looks like it should work. You might want to drive it around. I know that this one works. I have a warranty for it, so if there was a case that it didn't work, uh, you might want to just hold on a little bit. The only thing that you could have done wrong was not connected the plug. So if the plug the plug does not click, it probably won't turn on right. But this is how it should look. Yeah, so everything's working fine. The e-brakes on, the brake off, door open, door open, you know, th things like that. This one has more miles than I would have liked, but that one doesn't turn on or do anything, so it's whatever. This is my car. I'm keeping it. I don't care what the mileage says. I know how many miles it has. So, yeah. Now, now that you see that it works, you can get your little black plate and you can put it back into place right around here. Kind of reverse the process, clip it from the bottom, then the top, then you put your two screws in, and you're ready to go. I mean, you don't really have to put the two screws in, but I mean, you want your car to look nice. You really want this to not fall back out. It won't fall out once it's clipped in, but you know, it's better to have the screws on. Anyway, that concludes the video. The cluster works. That cluster is going to probably be thrown away or something, I don't know yet. Next, we're gonna see what that is. I was told by the previous owner that it was a O2 sensor, so check engine light is on.
check engine light was on over here. Previous owner said it was a check O2 sensor, so I'm going to change the O2 sensor, probably make a video on how to change the O2 sensor on this exact car. That light will turn off, and I'll see you guys on that video. Now we'll also be changing the stereo because nothing comes out. No volume, no nothing. I checked the fuses already. No deal. I'm gonna change the stereo, see what's up, and I will see you guys on that video. But for now, this one's done. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. It really helps out. Uh, I know I'm barely starting, but you gotta start somewhere. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and that concludes the video.